Hello, my awesome Virgo. I hope you had a wonderful, relaxing weekend. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Virgo, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Let's do this. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Virgo. For Virgo's highest good please universe please show us what's coming up for virgo in the life and how is virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for virgo in the life and how is virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey i feel like i need to shuffle more what's coming up for virgo in the life and how is virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey No, it's this one over here. Let's see, Virgo, what's popping over here? Your work. Yeah, work is showing up right off the bat in first position. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not surprised to see this. This is you feeling overwhelmed with stress, anxiety because of uh, people you work with uh, showing up as um, into drama uh, this is you feeling like you always have to defend yourself, protect yourself, look over your shoulder. Yeah, and this is you always feeling on the defensive. You have too much anxi anxiety, too much stress from your job. But it's not the job that's the problem. It's the people over here. You see this? Yeah, you're not happy because Ten of Cups is reversed. So Ten of Cups right side up. Is a very good sign but it's reversed it's the opposite of that so you're not happy with this environment and it's affecting other areas of your life negatively yeah you have too much stress too much anxiety and you recognize that yeah new job showing up here for you i'm happy for you virgo yeah you don't belong in this toxic environment Aha, uh -huh. your soulmate wants to make amends with you. This means apologies, peace offerings. Hmm, but they are slow to action. Universe, please show us. They don't communicate with you effectively for some reason. Universe, please show us. Ouch. What's coming up for Virgo in the life? Yeah, you see, new job offer showing up here for you. What's coming up for Virgo in the life? And how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, you, you're scared. You're scared of what's going to happen. You see this? This is you. You really don't want to change jobs, but you feel you have no choice but to go to another place because you see that uh, this environment is toxic and it's not going to change. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Oh, and guess what? You're doing other people's jobs. It's falling on your competent hands. Those that are too busy gossiping and creating drama, they wasting time on drama and gossip and are not finishing their tasks. And it's falling on competent hands of other people like you and others. You see, this is you doing too much. And they're not paying you extra. You're doing other people's jobs and your bosses call it teamwork. That's not teamwork. That's injustice. That's unfairness. When you see somebody slacking, not doing their job, you need to report it in writing. Yeah, that's the only way they'll handle it. If you report it in person, they're going to make you look bad. So report things in writing professionally, of course, but don't let people... Uh, drop the unfinished workload at month end on your hands or every week for that matter and think that you are a fool that you're gonna keep doing their job and they're gonna get paid for it yeah that's not fair to you Virgo it clearly shows here that you're doing other people's jobs and they don't pay you extra for it so those people whose jobs you're doing they're getting paid but you're doing their jobs it's not fair to you Virgo no yeah wow 
you also have a lot of heartbreak from your family yeah toxic people in your family have brought you a lot of heartbreak yeah this is you um keeping trying to keep away from those toxic relatives yeah the soulmate wants to clear the air with you you're not communicating with them though yeah, you feel so emotionally unfulfilled because of the toxic environment you work in. You're bored with your job. So even if there's nothing wrong with your job, it's affecting the, how you work. Yeah, very toxic environment you work in. I'm sorry you're going through so much, Virgo. Yeah, the star, you see? Something good coming up here for you. You're going to see a way out of that toxic situation. Yeah, wish fulfillment showing up here. Yeah, your job is showing up here. New job showing up here. Virgo, you have to be proactive, though. You can't just sit there waiting for job to come to you, right? You have to be proactive. And job is showing up here on the horizon. You see, you wish to leave that toxic environment. You really do want to leave it. This shows me that you want to leave that toxic environment, that you're noticing <clears throat> as time goes by that it's not going to change. It's going to remain the same. Yeah. It's causing you too much stress, too much anxiety. Hmm. New people entering your life, Virgo. The star with nine of cups. You see this? People of quality entering your life. New soulmate. I love this, but... Um, you, you're going to see a huge change in your life overall once you leave that toxic environment where you work. It's going to be better for you. Everything will be better for you, Virgo. Your energy will shift. Yeah. You see the devil showing up here underneath. Yeah. You don't belong in that toxic environment, Virgo. <clears throat> Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo. How is Virgo currently doing? Yeah, you feel so disconnected from the rest of the people there. Yeah, you feel so guarded emotionally. They're going to try to keep you. They can't keep you. Once you give resignation letter, you leave. Don't change your mind. Yeah, don't let them buy you with more money. No, no. Once you give your resignation, leave. Yeah. Universe, please show. I'm so happy for you, Virgo, that you see very clearly what you need to do. Yeah, Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo that Virgo has been dealing with that showed up as Knight of Pentacles. And how is that soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time, especially emotionally? Ooh, they in love with you, Virgo. King of Cups in first position, but they're holding two cups, not one. So they trying to figure out what you feel for them at this time, emotionally. Whether you love them or not, miss them or not, they're trying to figure out. This person loves you a lot, but you don't feel loved because if you truly felt loved by them, like they really do love you though, uh, you would be with them, right? Yeah. Yeah, communication. This is unexpected communication. Yeah, they do love you. This person realizes that they can't just ignore their feelings and it's going to disappear. This person loves you a lot. Yeah, they realize they didn't put work into this, that they need to meet you halfway. They can't just come back with pretty words and promises. They're so worried you're going to be with somebody else. Well, look. I like the new soulmate's energy. King of Wands, one of my favorite kings. Yeah, new soulmate popping up in your life or God that you have to meet, that you agreed to meet again in this lifetime. What you do with them will be up to your free will, whether you give them a chance or not. Universe, please show us. You don't have to be in a romantic relationship if you don't want to, Virgo. You have free will to decide that for yourself. Universe, please show us. What's going on? What's going on with the soulmate that Virgo has been dealing with? 
yeah, they realize that they can't disconnect from you emotionally. So they try to walk away from you emotionally as well, but they can't. You see, this is them feeling emotionally unfulfilled without you. Yeah, you see toxic energy showing up here. So you had valid reasons to walk away from this relationship. It became toxic. Yeah, drained you. The devil is showing up here. They miss you a lot. This is them missing you, reminiscing of you. They used to this kind of behavior where people allow them to come and go as they please. You respect yourself too much, Virgo, to find this kind of wishy-washy behavior acceptable in your life. They miss you a lot. This is them missing you. Yeah, look at this. This is them being very sad. Look at this. This is them being very regretful. Wow. They realize that they need to fix this justice showing up here, that they need to make amends. They need to be the ones. Look how much guilt they feel. They feel enormous amount of guilt for losing you. The devil with nine of swords next to justice over here. So they feel a lot of guilt. This is karma showing up here. So this person has been like this uh, in and out of people's lives um, without commitment for a long time. They've been like this and they realize it's really not making them happy either. They're not happy with the life they build for themselves. So that's a good sign. They see very clearly what's wrong and what needs to change. Yeah, they see it, right? Nobody's perfect. We have to recognize the truth before we can make significant changes for the better. Yeah, they're trying to figure out, do you miss them? Do you love them? Do you despise them? They're trying to figure out. You see, they realize that they're not happy with their lifestyle, with the life they created for themselves. You see this tower moment showing up here for them. Oh, this is karma on a grand scale. Tower with justice and the devil over here. This is karma on a grand scale they're dealing with. They realize that they feel emotionally unfulfilled with the life they build for themselves. Thanks to you, Virgo, they realize that. Thanks to you because you are so different from other people uh, that they've been with. Different in a very positive way. Yeah, Virgo, give yourself credit. The universe please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo that Virgo has been dealing with. Let's see clarification on this King of Wands. Yeah, this person realizes you kind of liberated them emotionally. Yeah, you liberated them. You gave them hope because they've been in toxic relationships with people of low vibration uh, who allow them to act this way. And they realize how empty they were living this lifestyle, coming and going as they please, not committing. Yeah, you see, they realize what real relationship feels like or should feel like. Yeah, see, this is them wanting to manifest this communication. Virgo, how you react to them will be up to you, whether you listen to what they have to say or not. That's totally up to you. You have the right to say no and reject the conversation and not see them if you don't want to. Yeah, you are in control of your actions, your life. We're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life that showed up as the star king of wands and nine of cups. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, the King of Wands energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So we're going to click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.